guys were not allowed to have fun. Hello and good morning everyone. The weather for today is supposed to be absolutely amazing. So we are starting out today wearing shorts. The kids are all ready. These boys have shorts on. They're super excited. It's gonna be a beautiful weather day. Super excited we're wearing shorts for today. Yeah. Because it's been really cold weather, rainy. A lot of stuff has been canceled like baseball games. Now we're able to wear shorts, which is nice. Dude, you look like you got into a fight. What happened? My friend bumped into me at school. Ugh, he's got a pretty bad owie inside of his leg. Lip. Mm -hmm. you, yeah, look at that fat lip, guys. <laughs> Girl, you look like you've been roughed up, dude. <laughs> so sorry. Let's get you boys to school. Kay. I think Hazy's still sleeping, so we'll leave her home with dad. And once again, we're getting started with our lovely new neighbors back there. These workers are like gonna become our best friends. They have been working tirelessly. Right now, it's a bit cold outside, but today it should be in the 70s. Yeah, it's gonna so. be beautiful. Right, guys. Did you put out the trash cans? Whoops. Yeah, yes, did. he did. The kids are requesting that we take the truck. I think they feel a little bit cooler pulling up in a truck than a minivan. That's okay, that's okay, I get it. I like the minivan way better. All right, studs, we're here at school. Get ready to jump out. Did you guys feel cooler coming in the truck? Yeah. Ooh, it's the weekend, baby. Oh, yeah. We have a super fun weekend planned. We do. Tomorrow, I have a soccer game. You do? I love you so much. Make good choices today, okay? Okay. I love you so much. Bye -bye. Have a good day. Love you. Make good choices. Love you, boys. See ya. I just dropped the boys off to school. I hope they have a great day. But I think it's funny how they're like, can we take the truck? I'm like, sure. My mom car isn't cool. I know it's not cool, but you guys, the functionality of a minivan, if you're one of those people that have been on the fence about a minivan, let me just tell you, it's the greatest thing you'll ever do. We went on a family vacation. Oh gosh, I think I was pregnant with Brexit. We got a minivan because we were going to California for so long. We had Ryler and crew and Maddie. We had so much luggage for some reason this particular trip, so we ended up getting a minivan. The very first day after we had it, I said, this is gonna be the most expensive trip we ever have because this will be the trip that makes us buy a van and we did we definitely did their day started out great because they were in the truck as long as they enjoy it gotta get miss hazel ready you guys didn't see her this morning because she was still sleeping and now she is watching a little cartoons before she has to get ready she's watching this talking tomcat show or something she has an easter egg hunt at school today so i have gotten her her easter eggs that they have to take and then a little basket to collect them in so she should have a super fun day she is very excited for her easter party so that will be a lot of fun for her kicking off the festivities of Easter coming this weekend and we have a really fun weekend ahead of us you guys and we are getting ready to host our very own Easter egg hunt for the neighborhood. This is the third year we've done it living here. It's really fun. My sister-in-law Lindsay and I we put it on together. What we do is we ask all the neighbors in the neighborhood if they want to do it they have to donate a bag of candy and then I have all the eggs and we fill all the eggs and then we hide them for the kids at the park and then the kids all come and enjoy the Easter egg hunt. We have to fill a couple thousand eggs between now and tomorrow. We got to find time to do that too. Miss Hazy is ready for school. I wanted to show you her super cute hair. Michelle kind of did this hair while I was gone, so I kind of copied it. it. Looks darling. The little bows for her little Easter party today in her cute dress. You look so pretty today. Mm -hmm. You just gonna have a little drink? Okay, we gotta get to school, okay? So have a drink and then we'll go get in the car. Okay. All done with your drink? Uh -huh. This is your basket you have to take to school. I'll take your cup. Wow, it's so heavy. I know there's Easter eggs in there, so you need to give those to your teacher, okay? Okay, but um, I wanna get more Easter eggs. Tomorrow we are, we're gonna do an Easter egg hunt tomorrow. Yeah, and you're gonna eat some chocolate. Yeah, I know, yummy, huh? Oh let's, my, let's go check a TV. Let's go get in the car. Let's go get in the car and go to school. Okay, okay we just got here with the girls. What do you guys have? Easter eggs. Is it your Easter party today? Yeah. And your baskets to collect all your eggs? Yep. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so fun. What are you most excited for? I, I don't um, have a bag like Hayes. You have a cute little bag. I'm so excited. I'm going to hide the eggs. Ooh, I don't think you're gonna hide them. You get to find them. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna find them. Yeah. Then I'll eat them. Oh, then you're gonna eat all the candy? Yeah, that's kind of a fun thing. That's my favorite part about Easter eggs is eating all yeah. the candy. Yeah. Okay, girls. Well, well I hope everybody you... just brought cakes. Oh, <gasps> cake! I want cake. Okay, well, I'm gonna get you guys in the school, but I hope you have a really good day. And do you know what I tell the older boys every day when they go to school? Ooh. Them always bring Easter Dang. eggs and, and find Dang. them. No, I always tell them to make good choices. Yes. So make good choices today and have lots of fun. Okay. Okay. Love you, girls. <laughs> Bye, girlfriend. Easter party. Oh, cute. You have your basket. Uh, I already have a bag. They are all ready. Bye, cute girls. Bye. 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 Bye.
Bye, girls. <laughs> Bye. Take care. It is a sunny, sunny, just beautiful day out there. It looks like I'm in the truck by myself, but I'm not. Brexy, where'd you go? <laughs> I got the vlog done super early today because mom's out doing some Easter shopping. She's doing some things and I said I want to go pick up Brex. It's one of my favorite things to do if I get a chance to. He gets out a little bit earlier than the rest of the kids so we get a little extra time together but it's so nice out. It's just so spring like. We drove through the different neighborhoods and there's people mowing their lawns and moms are on walks and I just thought you know what? We need to hit up the gas station dude. We need to get a treat. It's one of our things that we love to do. Mom doesn't love that we do it but we hit up the gas station for a fun little treat and Brexton had a phenomenal idea on this warm hot spring day. What do you want to get for your tree, buddy? An icy. An icy. I said an icy would be so nicey on this hot spring day. <laughs> do we want to get one? Uh huh. All right, let's go. Well, thank you, Rex. Oh, what a gentleman. So, which flavor are you going to get, dude? <laughs> so the Dooski's not ready, it says, which I'm pretty grateful for because you don't need any more caffeine. These ones are all ready, so let's do all three of these. Ready? Go. Okay, you too, thank you. Bye. <laughs> Back in the car, Brexy Doodle got his icy. Bro, what flavors did you get? And I got coconut, blue raspberry, and then cherry, and then I talked. Yeah, he had every flavor they make and he filled it with every available millimeter of space in there. Filled it up all the way to the top. And then what else did you get, dude? This one kind of surprised me. Salt and vinegar almond. Salt and vinegar almond, you guys. I love these. It's one of my favorite snacks, especially when I'm dieting. And Brexy Doodle saw me grab a bag and he goes, oh, are those salt and vinegar? And I was like, dude, if you like salt and vinegar almonds, I'm going to get those for you all day long. Picked up some salt and vinegar almonds. Them to me and then I love them. Yeah, I gave him a few of mine just thinking like he'll spit it out not wanting it and kind of backfired because he loved them and then ate the rest of the can that I had, but it also is kind of good because we found something that he likes. Got our ices, got our salt and vinegar almonds, headed back home. Back home, Brexy Doodle is like almost halfway done with this thing already in that short drive home. Got a salt vinegar almonds right here. There's just something about the good weather, the bright shining sun, the warmer temperatures. It just puts the life back in me. Like I just feel so alive. I just want to get out and do stuff. It feels amazing. Semi-related note, a quick downer I got to show you guys. This is our first glimpse of what our new view is going to be like out our kitchen window. This is kind of sad, you guys. Check this out. So they just got the walls up. So this is going to be our view out the kitchen window now. As you guys know, it used to be an open field with a nice little shot of the mountains right up there. And it is now a big old wall. But nice to see the progress that they're making up there. Nice to see that it's getting done quickly. We're excited for our new neighbors. We've met them. We've told you guys about them. They're awesome. It's going to be great to have another amazing family in the neighborhood. And it's a good thing we like them because we're going to be able to see them every time we sit down and eat. <laughs> How was your Easter party? <gasps> Show me what you made. What does it say on it? It says hazel. It says hazel. Is it a real egg? Yes. It is, and what did you put it in? We put it in grass. Oh, a little bit of grass that you made? And we put some stickers. And it has like a little handle, and it has your name on it. Yes, I She know. wants to go sit in the tree house in the backyard. Very gentle, Alyssa, because yeah. I, I loved ma making these. In you the remember show. that, huh? It's so fun. I know. Do you know what? I don't even think we have time to dye eggs this year. How lame is that? Maybe next year. Maybe next year. Yeah. Grab some shoes, and you can go play with Hazy. Yeah. And we can swallow down, but we can't because they're... All right, the kids are safely playing out here. I'm keeping an eye on them. And then we're gonna go get the kids in a little bit, but you guys, I feel like I have a lot to get prepared for Easter. We're gonna be gone all day tomorrow doing an amazing adventure hunt. Brandon's brother's company, Sean and Jared, founders of Adventure Hunt. So that's gonna be the majority of our day, and then we are putting on a neighborhood Easter egg hunt. So I feel like before I know it, it's gonna be Easter Sunday, and I'm not really ready for anything. So I'm gonna pick up, get things going. I have nothing else to say. As I told you earlier, we are having a huge neighborhood Easter egg hunt tomorrow. So what has happened is all of the parents in the neighborhood that want to participate, the kids that want to participate, I guess, they had their parents bring over one bag of candy per child. We have got several bags of candy. My sister-in-law, Lindsay, also has several bags of candy. I have employed the help of my handsome stallions. Oh yeah. Rye Guy and Kruby. Hazy and Brex were just helping me. So we are going to be sitting here until all this candy is filled into eggs. All right, guys, cousins are here. They're bringing tons more candy. Oh, boy. That one's for Hazy. This is for Hazy? Yeah. Oh, look how cute. We can't 
throw it in the bucket because it undoes all your hard work. And we have another rule which is gonna surprise you. You have to put one candy per egg, then we have more eggs. Even though it seems like a good idea to fill in. One other rule is you guys were not allowed to have fun. So you guys look, we have enlisted all of the neighborhood kids, cousins, Aunt Lindsay, Ash Bash, no more eating candy. <laughs> It is like going slow. So the way we do this is we have a rule where we do one piece of candy per egg. So that way there's just tons of eggs to find. It is so fun. We have a lot of candy left and we actually have a ton of eggs filled. So we're gonna have a ton of eggs for the Easter egg hunt. We can't wait. Are you kidding me? You haven't even been Hopefully you guys have been working up here. This is it? Go get us food. We told the kids whoever helped that we would feed them. So we we cleaned out Which little Caesars. This is my Which pizza. I told the kids if they would do eggs, we'd feed them. Yeah, but I Which did we didn't honestly. Pizza. We honestly didn't know that that would take us into dinner time. So see how that works. So out. how many eggs would you say we filled? Thousands? Oh, oh for could sure. I legit say thousands? How many thousands? Did thousands of eggs. And how many do you think the three of us filled alone? Four of us. Four of us. Ash this, is Ash like a this is the dream team dinner. right here. This is the dream team. They crushed it. Ashton was coming with the, the eater. Oh my gosh. This little boy we told him he could have an entire pizza. Normally that would be laundry behind us stacked that high. When I saw that laundry basket, I was like, what is that doing there? I ran out of bins. We've never done this before. Thousands guys, of eggs, you guys. Thousands. thousands. And it took us, we went full force at about 2.30, probably three hours. Three hours of but filling But not eggs. just like one person, like seven people. It's gonna be so much fun, guys. They do this every year. Mindy and Lindsay put this on for the neighborhood, wherever we've lived. We've always lived in the same neighborhood together, so it's a ton of fun. It's so fun. So we're doing that tomorrow. Don't miss it. We just scatter eggs all over this Everywhere. park. It's covered. I get the drone up so you can really see just how many eggs there are and all the kids running out. It's a ton of fun. Also, do not miss, tomorrow we are going on an adventure hunt. If you don't know what that is, my brothers, Sean and Jared, are the owners, founders of this company. They were recently featured on Shark Tank, one of the best pitches Shark Tank has ever had, they said. Uh, yes. They are putting on an adventure hunt in Salt Lake City. Now, Jared, my brother, has a YouTube channel, Jared and Britt, and he has made a vlog on how they put together an adventure hunt. So go over and check that out oh on gosh. Jared and Britt, and cool. you can see how they build these, how they put them together, and you can see us do the hunt tomorrow. Don't miss that, guys. It's gonna be a ton face. of fun. Since Sunday is Easter, and it's a Sunday, we will not be vlogging, but we will be doing a YouTube live, so make sure to come on over. Guys, nice, hang out with us on Easter. And check that yeah, out. Yes, so we're just gonna be showing you a little bit of what we're having for dinner, hang out together. Maybe we'll do, ooh, I have a fun idea. It just came to me. It just came to Top me. Top secret, but don't miss it tomorrow, 4.30 Mountain Time on our YouTube channel. We will be going live. We haven't done a live in a long time because of all of our vacations. We miss you. So we're stoked to do that with you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We love you. Watching us fill eggs. We love you so much, and we'll see you tomorrow. See you later. Bye. Bye.